Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss how to create macro variables in SAS. We will see different methods to create macro variables and how to use them in our day-to-day -day activities in SAS programming. If this is your first time to the channel, then subscribe for more upcoming videos on base advanced and clinical SAS programming. Let's get started. So first see what is a macro. Macro are used to automate the repetitive task. It can make your work faster by automating the task that requires writing same lines of code every day. So macro can reduce the number of lines we write for a particular task, but in the same time it may not reduce the time required to execute the codes. Next see what is a macro variable. A macro variable is used to store a value. The value is always character. So whatever we store in a macro variable, the value stored is a character. The character value can include variable name, letters, numbers or any text you want to substitute it in your program. Macro variables can be created using a number of different techniques and statements. So in this video, we will see five different ways to create macro variable and use them. So let's see what are the types of macro variables. So there are two types of macro variable. One is local macro variable, second is global macro variable. If the macro variable is defined inside a macro code, then the scope is local. It would be available for use in that macro only and gets removed when the macro is finished. So local macro variable used locally inside the block of the code where the macro is assigned. And for global macro variable, if the macro variable is defined outside a macro code, then the scope is global. It can be used anywhere in the SAS program and gets removed at the end of the session. So global macro variable get defined outside the macro code and it can be used anywhere in the program unless we end our SAS session. So this is about local and global macro variable and now let's go to SAS and see what are the different ways to create macro variable. So there are five different methods we are going to discuss in this particular video and the first one is percentile let statement then the second is macro parameters both keyword and positional. The third one is iterative do statement. And the fourth one is using into statement in proc SQL. And the last one is using the call symbotex routine in data step. So we'll see these five different methods to create macro variables. So now see the first method to create a macro variable. This is that is percentile let statement. And the syntax is percentile let then we need to keep a macro variable and you need to assign the values so here i have given percentile let ds equal to class so ds is the macro variable i am creating and class is the value i am assigning to this ds macro variable so uh, the macro variable created by using this percentile let is a global macro variable so throughout the program we can use them and this percentile let we can define inside the macro or outside the macro that's totally fine so now see how to use this macro variable so now i want to print my class data set from sas help library so what i can write proc print data equal to sas help dot class run so this is the simple print procedure i am using so now if i execute this code i get this print output but now I want to use this macro variable ds. So instead of class, I will be just using ampersand of ds dot. Now, if I will execute this, I will be getting the same output. So here the macro variable is ds. And to see what my, what my macro variable contains, so I can write percentile put uh, m percent of ds so if i do that and execute in my log i will be able to see what my macro variable contents 
so this is the class value for the ds micro variable content so this is the first method by writing a uh, percentile late statement and we can see another example so for example percentile late date equal to first jan 1960 this is the value i am assigning to the date variable now i want to print that in the log so percentile put today is then i am going to use the micro variable date dot so if i'll execute these two now let's see what we get in our log so now in the log you got today is the micro variable result to first jan 1960 so today is first jan 1960 so this is the uh, method to create a macro variable by using percentile let statement now see the second method that is by using macro parameter so here i am creating a macro so macro and macro name is test then so percentile macro macro name is test then here i am giving two parameter one positional and one keyword so leave equal to leave this is the positional then i am giving another keyword parameter as ds equals to so this is my macro now i want to write same proc print data equals to you know sas help dot class and run percentile m end now i need to call the macro percentile test So here instead of this library I'll be give macro variable and instead of class I'll be giving the macro variable ds dot. So now here this is the macro I have created and now I need to call that macro. So when I call that macro I need to pass two parameter leave equals to I need to give the library that is sas help and ds equals to I need to give class so now if I call this macro I should get the same output so now I got the output the macro has been executed and I got the print result so now here two macro parameters are there leave and ds and leave is the positional parameter ds is the keyword parameter so when we have both parameter in a macro then uh, you know both positional and keyword parameter then first the positional parameter should be there followed by the keyword parameters so this is the second method and here the macro variable this leave and ds this macro variables are local so this is about the second method so the next method is creating a macro variable in iterative do loops and to uh, give you an example i am creating here four data set data month 1 month 2 month 3 and month 4 and i am just setting set not setting any value var equal to 1 then output okay that's the only thing i am giving now if i execute this code I will get four data set with same value var1 equal to 1. So now I am going to write a macro percentile macro test. Now I am writing a do loop. Okay. Percentile do month equal to 1 to then I am creating I am going to read each month and I am going to uh, read each month as input data and I am going to create the output data set for the same number so data out dot out percent of month set month m percent of month output. 
person type and person type m and so what i'm doing over here i will be reading each month value like month one i'll be creating out one for month two i'll be creating out two for month three i'll be creating out three so here the month value what i have given in the do loop this will act as a macro variable here so now let me just uh, execute the macro so now the macro has been executed there is no error and now if i'll call the macro percentile test i'll get four data set four output data set so here if you see uh, three output data set has been created as i have given i uh, to month equal to one to three so three output data set has been created you know three uh, input data set it has read and three output data set it has created so here this month has act as a macro variable okay so the next method is into statement in proc sql so into statement is proc sql let's see proc sql select sum of h into sum from sas help dot class quit so what here i am doing i am just uh, sum of age whatever the value is there that i am going to put in a macro variable called sum sum so now if i execute this my macro has been executed and the value is 253 now see if my macro variable store that value so percentile put m percent of sum if i do that and run my code i'll get the value as 253 now this is the code i have executed and the value comes as 253 so now this uh, this is the macro variable created in the proc sql step and the by using this into statement and it holds the value of sum of h so this is the next method so the last method is calls input text so this method we will use to create macro variable in a data step so let's see example here i am creating a data set proc sql create table test edge select sum of edge edge sum from sas help dot class quit so now i have created a table called test and here i am storing the value uh, which is sum of uh, the age and the value is 253 now the variable which store the result is called sum sum so now i need to create a macro variable of that and in the data step so i will write data test to set test call sim put x the macro variable i am given here is well this is the macro variable and this macro variable will store my data set variable sum so now if i run that this is the macro variable and this is my variable present in data set now execute this code now this code has been executed and uh, you know let me see if my uh, macro variable is created or not so percentile code m percent of sum if i do i should get the value 253 in my log so when i call this macro variable percentile put m percent of sum i uh, sum i got the value 253 so this is how we create the macro variable in the data step by using calls input or calls input text and this i whether we can create a data set or we can give uh, a null data set as well so these are the five methods we used to create macro variable and to uh, you know automate our program automate our sas code which reduce the number of uh, lines we write in each of the code 
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base advanced and clinical search programming.